imagine like two to three hundred bees on you. Oh, it's terrifying. Now they're getting upset. You, this is not the place to be oh, right no. now. So this one's not quite finished. Oh my goodness, yeah. look at that. Okay, so now we have caps brood. Oh, it's pollen, all the dark stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave this too exposed because they're right. sensitive to temperature. Oh, look at well, what's that? Oh, they don't like them in there. It takes about three weeks for a bee to go from an egg to a bee. Really? That's it? That's it. Wow. So this little plastic thing in here, that's called a queen excluder. So the oh. queen can only be down here and they can only put, they'll only put honey up in the top. Oh, really? So it's usually the brood yeah. in the middle and then the honey on the outside of that. Interesting. So my goal is to take out what we can for harvestable honey mm -hmm. and replace the frames and then take this and put it down below. Oh, so, there, so this okay. brood will grow up, yeah. become a bee, yeah. empty cell, they'll fill it full of honey. Interesting. So right now this one's just full of honey up here. Yes. Yeah. Man, that is so cool. Look at them coming out right here. That's amazing. Every once in a while you see a bigger one. Uh -huh. and, oh, there's one with a black, a black butt. Yeah. There's one right there. Oh yeah, I saw it. Okay. What's here? What's that? Those are drones. So okay. those are the males. Yeah. And they don't do. <laughs> really? They don't. Yeah. Do they're probably just flying out the poop or whatever. Oh, I see them right there. Well, I'm glad my wife's not here because she would find something the, funny to say about that. And at the end of the season, they all get kicked out. Oh. If they're trying to survive the fall. Well. They'll kick them all out. Lazy, lazy men need to get kicked out. I've seen two of them go in, and there's another one right there. Yeah. Yep. That is a lesson right there. Lazy men get booted from the hive. <laughs> it, it is. All they do is uh, when they produce a queen. Yeah. Then they breed with the queen. And, and that's, it. that's it. Sounds like a good life. So I mean, are, the, the worker bees, are they male or female or transgender all, or what? All female except for those drones. Wow. What a, man, they do live a good life. A hive full of women. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good life or not. Depends <laughs> how much they talk in there. <laughs> buzzing in the middle of the <laughs> But you've got to be 20 below. Cackling going on. <laughs> so that top super has been in there for 10 days and that's it. And we're expecting it to be full of honey. I imagine we'll probably get at least maybe two or three frames out of it. So the little smoker, you just put regular twigs in it, nothing special. I use tarp cold cats because they stay lit. Oh, for sure. A, a duration, you know. Yeah, so not just wood. And then I'll okay. throw a little wood on there just to get a little fire going in there. You don't want too much smoke, but yeah. the point to the smoke is basically they think there's a forest fire uh -huh. and they go back into the hive to harvest honey. So they, ah. calm, down. they calm down. Actually, yeah. they're in freak out mode. Yeah, so the smoke sends them all back into the hive and therefore you can go on to the end of the top super and get what you want out yeah. without they're them swarming gonna, you. Oh, they'll be they'll all They'll swarm over you anyway. They'll be all, all over okay. you. Like right now it's a warm day, so they're super active. Yeah. Um, but also on warm, hot days, uh -huh. more of them are out of the oh. hive, right? So it's a better opportunity less to check them because there's actually less bees okay. inside the hive. All right, this is a bee suit, huh? It's like a big bunny suit from the operating room. They don't like dark colors. Oh, I see. Because of bears. Oh. What I understand. That's interesting. Get so your bee this. suit has a hole in the crotch. Yeah. With well, a big bright red tape on it so they know where to stain. Yeah. As well be a target, right? <laughs> They're sure. going to be all over you. Okay. Well, Sometimes it can be actually a little overwhelming. Oh, well, I bet. Imagine like two to three hundred bees on your. Oh, sh it's terrifying. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first bee movie. <laughs> My home is straight through there. We're at Mr. Andy's house, and Andy has bees. He's smoking them right now. We're getting suited up. Let's try to get into the hive and get that delicious, amazing, healthy honey. Alaskan honey, to be exact. And so here's the inner lid. Oh yeah, kind of working a little, little bit. tiny bees. Well, look at that. So there's wow. capped honey that's finished. Oh, that's all honey right here. And then all this is all honey, but it's not quite there yeah. yet. I'm gonna hold so off on that So it's done when it's capped. Yeah, capped, okay. capped is when you harvest. Okay. This one looks like a full frame of capped honey. Which yeah, is. look at that. So that side so this and this is, side. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's all honey. Here, I want you to just grab these tongs. Or, yeah. Yeah, so grab those tongs real tight, uh -huh. real tight. Yep. How heavy that is, yeah. That's very heavy, full of honey. If I, my memory serves me right, it's like a it's like there a pint and a half, probably. So, a pint and a half, just this one, two pints, something in something one frame in that region. So, I'm gonna keep this one, yeah. A little bit more buzzing now. I hear it since this is a good hive, I might yeah. actually. Um, so, you just delicately rub them off of there with a brush, huh? To kick them off, mm -hmm. yeah. This is where it gets a little on the wild side. Oh, I see. That's the purpose of this crate. So you're swapping them out. Not yeah, look at that. Not quite capped, but I'm going to take it anyway. A little bit, a few holes there. But this is all waxed, covered honey. Easily 80%. Yeah. Okay, so you can harvest that. Yeah. Kind of impressed. Impressed by how much honey they produced? Well, so this especially is... since I, I didn't I didn't properly take care of them the way I normally would. Uh -huh. Normally I'm way more intensive. Once a week. Per hive, I 
basically go through the entire hive. I make sure that they're not, I make sure that they do have enough room and that they're not making, trying to make a queen. Mm -hmm. This year, I screwed it up. That hive split, like I told you, it yeah. swarmed. Yeah. Which means they didn't have enough room. So this one's not quite finished, but what, finished. two thirds finished? I might, I might take it anyway and we can do the shake test. Look at all the bees, man, that's amazing. One thing I, you need to look for mm -hmm. towards the middle of the hive, hive is brood. Are they, are they putting brood in there? What's brood? Uh, brood or eggs. Oh, eggs. Yeah, eggs okay. And larva. Yeah. Well, they get pretty upset when you brush them off of there like that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty upset too. That's like everything they worked for. We just wiped out their bank account. Uh huh. Here. Yes, we Come did. On. Took their home, bank account. Yep. Everything Stole else. their food. Yep. Now they're getting upset. You can see the bees, little beehives all over. Man, if you have a phobia to like bugs, this is not the place to be oh, right no. now. <laughs> or if you're allergic to bees. Or if you're allergic to bees. <laughs> yeah, wow, look at all the bees in there. Yep. See, see that little larva right there? Yes. Oh, that's bee larva. So that, that right there. That came off of the bottom. Oh, so that's not a good thing, is it? It's fine. Wow. It's fine. Learning so much. I mean, you look how many bees there are in yeah. here. It did that. Did, whatever I destroyed did not really affect that. Imagine those little bee larvae would be good for fishing. I mean, I'm actually impressed at how calm these bees are. Well, that's what I was thinking. I expected a lot more. Me too. A lot more uh, swarming and. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> no, just halfway through. Wow. Okay, so now we have caps brood in here. Cap brood. So I will, um, I'll at least give you a little demonstration. Of what yeah, let's have a look. Oh, I see. It looks totally different, right? Yeah, so that's honey and those are, that's all larva here. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to leave this too exposed because they right. are sensitive to temperature and moisture so and whatnot. Honey and larva. Honey and larva. These yeah. ones are all about to pop. Uh -huh. See how they're see that. domed like that? Yeah. So they're all very mature. Okay. Bees. Yep. We're building some weird stuff on the bottom here, but nah, I don't really care that much. It's kind of late in the season. So see how much more honey they have in here, and then we'll put the box back together. So that's more larva there, isn't it? A lot more larva. Yeah, I see which that. Which is a good sign because. That's good. Yeah, and you can see it's, some of this is starting to crown a little bit, yep. get a little bit of that bubble. Mm -hmm. So all this is going to mature in the next week, and they're going to want to pack it full of honey ASAP. Oh, I see. Same so thing with this side. when they all that mature, all the little bees are going to come out? Yep. And then they can pack it with honey once the bees come out? Yep. That's oh, the, wow. That's the idea. And it's just that many more bees. So eventually they'll make enough bees that you're going to need more hive. It's that many more bees, bees, and it's that many more cells they can fill. Yeah. Available. To them. Yeah. So I'm going to play a big guessing game here and guess that the... It's probably in the bottom. I haven't seen her yet. Mm. Like, I mean, this is a whole. Mm -hmm. This one's almost takeable. So that's an almost. And this one's an almost, I believe. Oh, wow. Look at Yeah, that one's completely white. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah, so, this is going to be fireweed honey. Fireweed honey? Yeah, you can tell. You can almost see right through it. Yeah. In the sun. Okay. When we extract this, this will be absolutely like well, almost crystal clear. Awesome. That'll be some very good honey. Fireweed is a uh, local weed that grows here in Alaska. It's pink, green with pink leaves on it. And they name it fireweed because it grows after wildfires, right? It's the first thing to reestablish. Yep. Yeah. After any kind of... So that's about as good as it can get right there in terms of... That's the high dollar. Full honeycomb. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. This is fireweed honey. Okay. This is like... So uncapped. Uh, no, this is all capped. Oh. It's just... You see the difference in color? Yes, that's just There's color. also the difference in the color. Wow. Of so that's maybe like clover or something, whatever's yeah, local so around this here. Is what I would call the early season. Okay. Yeah, it's more of a golden color. Mm -hmm. So <clears> usually <throat> when I harvest, I'll harvest them. I'll, har I'll harvest like all the golden stuff with yeah. the golden stuff and all the fireweed stuff with the fireweed stuff. Yeah. That way I don't end up, because you can actually charge more if you want, mm -hmm. you know, but it's also kind of really cool looking. Yeah, right. So the fireweed honey is the premium stuff here in Alaska that people pay extra for. And it's like you said, it's almost clear. It looks like um, Crystal clear. like corn syrup, right? And, and like uh, Cairo syrup, Absolutely. right? Because it's yep. clear and very sweet, unique taste. See so how they kind of clear off the top. Smoke them up. They go back into the hive. Yeah. I usually save my wax for... Yeah, I was going to ask you, what do you do with that? all that wax you're scraping off? Oh, I'll show you. You can make candles with it or... I haven't made anything with it, but I've been saving it. Oh. It, it's also good to rub on new frames. Oh. have that uh -huh. foundation. Give yep. them something to work off of. Yep. And a little encouragement. Not a lot of honey in here. Well, there's some honey on the outside. Yeah, a little bit there. <gasps> okay. All right. If you look straight down in there here, you take a hold of it. And I want you to look straight down in, the, in all these cells right here and tell me if you see a little grain of rice. You can get it right up to your face if you want. See a little grain of rice in there? Yeah. In these cells? Those yeah. Are, those are the eggs. Oh my gosh. So I know I have a queen and she's laying. She's laying eggs. So the queen's probably somewhere down in the bottom. So she's working that pretty good. I'm gonna go and see what they got on the other side here. And yeah. I'm not gonna mess with what they have in here. 
Oh, really? Because they're them do their thing. And what I'm going to do right now by adding, I have the queen excluder mm -hmm. at the top one. I'm going to add it here instead. Oh. So I'm going to encourage them to actually move some of this honey towards the top. Yeah. So I'm going to move it, use it. Oh, it's pollen, all the dark stuff. Mm -hmm. Different colors, yeah. which is different kinds of pollen. This is called bearding. Oh, okay, so this is bearding. This yeah. Man, they are just humming. They're doing some weird stuff, because we're, I mean, we opened up their house. Right? Yeah. So my main goal was to just at least clean that up and see what we had going on in there. Healthy brood, a lot of eggs. Especially with a lot of eggs, I don't want to mess with them too much um, because of the humidity. Yeah. Um, temperature. Blah, blah, blah. Incredible creatures. Oh, it really is. Yeah. It's so cool to watch them work. Like sometimes when it's just like a beautiful summer or whatever, you're just like frame after frame after frame. Like you'll go through a box that has like four frames on it. Mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll get like 14 or 15 out of two boxes in one hive. Yeah. 14, like, so like a box and a half would be totally full. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I was just in there last week. How late into the season until you stop messing with them or stop taking honey off? We'll see how the season goes. That's mm -hmm. kind of part of the... So it's more of a temperature thing? thing? Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, what's that? I don't know. They don't like them in there. It's some kind of bug. Like a roach. It looks like a cricket or a roach. He needs to go away. Yeah, he needs to get out of there. there. But it ain't going to be good for you. There you go. Funny. It's a bug's life. As you smoke them, you can see them running inside. Oh yeah, they're like <laughs> they're like we're out of there. We're going inside. Yeah, that is incredible how they just scatter. Oh my gosh, that's in, that's amazing to watch. As we smoke them, they'll all go back in. I got enough of them in there. I'll keep the smoker with me. I just want to clean this. Yeah, you want off. me to take the smoker off? Sure. sure. If you want, you can set it right next to the other hive. Okay, it's time to do that. So where'd you get the hives? Do you guys have to order them? You can order them. Um, you can buy used hives. Yep. There's a guy that we prefer to get our bees from. That's a little bunch. Yeah, so capped on one side, not capped on the other. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that one here in a minute. We won't get too greedy yet because there's more time. Okay. But that one would be a good one to put in the middle, you mm -hmm. know, for the next round. And I gotta find a queen excluder for this one. Mm-hmm. 100% on yeah, there. Yeah, it's completely full and almost full there. 80, 90% on there. Mm-hmm. Can we bring this box over there? Sure. If they get wild and crazy, sometimes it's nice to have the box like <laughs> over there. And then you can kind of keep brushing them off as you go. But we're already up to six frames here. This is pretty, pretty crazy. So when that box is full, you take that to your centrifuge and spin it? Yeah, so we'll take this box to the house and we'll pull and trade it for the other box that's over there. So what did you guys do with them last winter? I don't remember. They, did they just sit out here all winter? No, we didn't okay. have them last winter. Oh, okay. We ordered a package. Yeah, so what's the plan for this winter? Okay. This winter, we're gonna, I think we might decide like maybe to keep one hive and try to overwinter it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so that's pollen, all that dark? Nope, that's honey. Well, that's honey in there, just a darker honey? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's golden. Pollen Beautiful. is more, uh, is opaque. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see how much clearer this is. So this is the fireweed. This is getting pretty close. Yeah. And this, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this with him for, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed a bear hasn't shown up here yet with all the noise and the sound of the what? bees. What's that? We're taking that one. Yeah, it's full. They don't even want, they don't want nothing to do with that side. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put this in there. A bear did get into our shit one time. Oh, really? It might be one of those bear frames. <laughs> and they will not touch those frames. Oh, after the bear gets it? Really? Some of them. Yeah. Interesting. At least, well, I could be wrong, but we had a, we had a bad year last year too. Mm -hmm. and that kind of maybe even the last two years, just lack of time. Man, you know. To man. Yeah. You that bear goes through two hives. Mm -hmm. One year, it's kind of a learning experience. We had had a couple of hives successfully overwintered. A lot of pollen, a lot of honey, mm -hmm. lots of brood. Oh wow, all new bees, 
You little baby bees. Look at that. Those yeah. Are, these are all empty. I see that. Why are they empty? Because the brood grew up. Oh. Oh, all the little all the little larvae are gone, so it's time to fill with honey now. I see. All in. Fair amount of honey. Yeah. This one's all capped honey on the end too, so let's go ahead and do get this one too. Not a lot. Right. But that side's completely empty. It's taken, I think. Thank you for letting me film that. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> That's fun. We feel so very blessed that you all come along with us as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through a wildlife in this great land. Now here's a video I think you'll really like. Join me there. Let's go.